Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Definitive Platinum. Last episode we went to Stark Mountain, put an end to Charon and Team Galactic. And we also caught Heatran and also Entai, which I forgot was there. Um, so because we've started the sort of legendary beasts from Johto, we're going to go ahead and finish them off today. Um, so... We need to now go and get the other ones. Um, let me just look at my list. So the next one will be Suicune. So if we fly on over to Pastoria City, I'm pretty sure he's to the right. So do you remember when we rock climbed to a certain area and we're like, oh yeah, there's definitely going to be a legendary Pokemon or something here. Well, turns out we were right because this is in fact where you find Suicune. So let's go ahead and chuck one of our many Master Balls. And that's that one tied up. Right now the next one is Raikou, which uh, let me just think, Blarama Town. Obviously it said something about electric, um, which Valley Windworks seems to suit quite well, as he's just over here chilling. Right, another Master Ball. Right, and now we can report back to Professor Elm in Eternus City and start the sort of next lot of things that we need to do. So we need to get the beasts out of the box. We will do now. Actually, I'm going to need Empoleon. So let me get him back. Bye bye, Venusaur. And now we can head on down, and Elm should have some more stuff to tell us, hopefully, if I've done everything right. Ah, Pokéx. Uh, further details about the rare signs of these Pokémon. Actually, in fact, they're known to be legendary Pokémon. They originate from the Johto region, which seems that legendary Pokémon don't reside in one place. Okay, yeah, we've already been told all this. Oh, the legendary Pokémon that we've seen are true. You've successfully caught them, and the Pokédex is illuminating with data about them as well. Excellent work. I'll take the time to further study these Pokémon. Maybe we can discover a little bit more about the legendary Pokémon. Instantly there have been signs of new legendary Pokemon. Ho and Lugia have been spotted near specific locations that resemble areas similar to those in Johto. Learn to explain what I mean specifically about these details. Equitic City has a historic building known as the Burn Tower. It appears that legendary Pokemon you caught earlier being Raikou, Ento and Suicune have a special connection to Hoa. Legend has it that these Pokemon were resurrected when the tower collapsed. Could it be that Hoa could have visited the Lost Tower? Maybe someone there issued the report and could give us more details on this particular matter. I believe visiting the last tower would be the best place to start. Right. Let's head on over to Salacion. And down here to the last tower. And I believe it's you. Oh, that day when you Pokedex. Could it be of the legendary beast, Raikou, Entai, and Suicune? What's that? Signs of the legendary Pokemon Ho -Oh nearby. Why, well, yes, in fact, I used to report. It's said that when you can see a rainbow forming nearby, then Ho -Oh could be around. Those Pokemon in your Pokedex have a special connection with Ho -Oh. Legend has it there. 
that it was Hoa who resurrected the legendary beast when a building collapsed in Jota. The historic monument is known as Ban Tower in Ecotique City. Hoa was said to be their leader after that blessing occurred. It was seen flying towards the northeast of Sinna. I presume having a legendary beast with you will increase your chances of meeting it face to face. Okay. So now, if we go back to Elm. We can uh, find out where her is going to be. Actually, I don't know if he tells you. I think he just gives you some dialogue. Um, could it be the ho -ho? Welcome back. Have you discovered anything at Last Tower? I see. So there's been the sighting of a legendary Pokemon ho -ho. What's that? Interesting. Should you bring the legendary beast along with you, then only with them will you have a higher chance in meeting with Hoa. Somewhere northeast from here. Well then that's how you get going. Pull back to me once you have captured Hoa. Okay. So what he said there is pretty key to this. Because you need to go to the Pokemon League. But Hoa will not appear unless you have the legendary beast in your team and we're gonna need a waterfall finding nine that you have to have waterfall to go down and yeah here's her uh, Level 70, um, rinse and repeat, master ball, thank you. Right, now let's go ahead and fly back to Eterna City. And then we're going to go ahead and put Hoho on the team. I don't think we need the beast now though. Now let's get Venusaur. Mm. No, you're not a Venusaur. You're pretty useless. Why is it so hard? There we go. And then with ho -Oh, Let's go back to Elm. So there's been sighting. What's that? Interesting. Oh, that's it. The legendary Pokemon ho -Oh. That is illuminating through your Pokedex so that I must study up on. This is another step towards finding out the reasons of the rare sightings of these legendary Pokemon. This leaves us with just Lugia. This particular Pokemon enjoys swimming underwater at high speeds. You can mostly sight it at a waterfall similar to a cave in Johto. I would presume bringing Ho-Oh alongside with you will draw out Lugia to rival its power. Now where would a waterfall be that will allow Lugia to emerge? Now believe it or not, you've already been there because it's at the Pokemon League. Oh, hang on a minute. I thought it was at the top. Wait. Do I have to have her at the front? See, I didn't think I needed the, the beast, but I might do actually. Yeah, maybe I do. Because it's supposed to be literally there. Huh. Well, 
let's put you in there. That's really weird. Or, hang on actually, yeah I think, uh, yeah I'm at the wrong spot. It's at, yeah I forgot there's this one down here as well isn't there? Yeah, that's where it is. That's actually hilarious. Yeah, see, it is just hobo that you need. Right, and Master Ball. It'd be so cool if it was the Shadow Lugia, though. But, um, yeah, so that is how you get all of the Johto legendaries. So the legendary beasts, obviously, Entobes in the previous video because he was at Star Mountain. Um, and what you call it? Um, yeah, then Ho and Lugia. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. And then next video, I think I might do the Steven quests. Um, that'll probably be a lot longer though, because you got the whole Reggie storyline, um, Deoxys. And who am I else am I thinking of? The Weather Trio. So yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope to see you all next time.